Hey, what is up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a good minute since I've uploaded a video. Um, I need to do these more often as I should in order to get this channel to grow. I'm not as active as I should be, but hey, you know what? I work a full-time job and the reselling is the side hustle that paves our way, helps fund all of our trips to Disney World. And that's what this channel has always been about. It's been about flipping stuff to support our Disney World habit. Um, I kind of want to do a video on what I feel is the state of reselling and Disney World. A little combination of both. Um, when it comes to the reselling, this year has been the slowest year we've had in a while. Um, January came and sales just slowed down. Um, eBay got real slow. <clears throat> Macari's been pretty good. Um, it's been keeping us busy. Poshmark, a little bit. Uh, my wife did open up, open up a, a new Macari page um, to sell all my kids' uh, old clothes that they don't fit no more because we have a bunch of stuff. I mean, I can show you. I mean, we got bags of stuff. Um, Stuff everywhere. Um, just clothes that they don't wear. So she's been doing pretty decent. Been making a few sales on that on that page. Um, eBay. eBay's been eBay. It's been it's been a little bit slow. Um, I've kind of uh, I've kind of hurt myself a little bit on there because I I didn't keep up with it as well as I should have. So learning lesson for some of you. Um, if you're posting on multiple platforms, make sure you delete the item from eBay or vice versa. That way you don't have to cancel someone's order. So that's one of the biggest things, right? That you have to do is get in that habit. So eBay has been real slow. Um, the clearance shopping has, uh, slowed down. Uh, let's get some light in here. It's kind of dark. Um, the clearance shopping has slowed down. Uh, BrickSeek is one of our biggest tools that we use um, for finding the, the, the clearance items. Um, and it hasn't been as good as it has been in the past. This year has just been totally different. I don't know if it's because of supplies inflation whatever it is it's definitely made it to a point where like it's real hard to find um good stuff on clearance cheap like you used to like when i mean cheap like i'm the type of person who doesn't typically want to spend over ten dollars uh per item certain things cost three four bucks five seven just depending on, depending on how big that, that item is um, I don't like to invest a lot of money into it because I want to maximize my profit. Um, so that's been pretty slow. Uh, we've had we 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 have hit a few Krogers uh, when they mark do markdowns, and we did find a uh, few Barbies and stuff and other toys. Uh, Target's recently been doing uh, some markdowns. Uh, as a matter of fact, I went today, and I'll show you guys in a minute. Uh, I did find some stuff at Target uh, that was Clarence looked it up and it was pretty pretty reasonable on flipping uh, the Squishmallows did slow down uh, but we did recently come into some uh, uh, new Squishmallows that are pretty popular and I've, <coughs> excuse me and I've actually sold quite a few of those uh, in the last week um, so those have been those have been doing okay I'm still doing pretty decent for the month when it comes to making extra money. To help fund our Disney trips. I think we've already been to Disney World. We're, today's March 29th. May 29th. Sorry. May 29th. Um, and I think we've been to Disney World four or five times already. Uh, including Universal Studios. We did become Universal Studios annual pass uh, members. So we have that 
So we've done Universal a couple times, Disney four times, I think. Uh, we recently went for the pass holder preview for Guardians of the, of the Galaxy. Uh, I believe it was uh, on the 21st or the 17th. I can't, I can't remember. Uh, but that ride was awesome. Uh, by far, probably the best ride, I think, in my opinion, at any Disney park in Florida. Uh, uh, when it comes to roller coasters, that thing was just awesome. You guys can go YouTube and watch everyone's POVs. The POVs do not do it no justice. Um, you have to ride the ride. Uh, we got fortunate enough to get a pass holder preview. Uh, my wife jumped on it. While I was in Las Vegas with the girls, um, I did take them to Las Vegas for BTS. That was quite an experience. I should have filmed. I should have filmed that because that right there, if you've ever been to a BTS concert, like these things were wild, like the wildest thing I've ever experienced. But overall, it was a great, great time bonding with my kids, making memories. Uh, so it was real, 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 real awesome. Um, so the reselling has been slow, still steady to the point where I'm making extra money, still finding a few things. I'll show you guys uh, towards the end of the video what I found. Um, I still have quite a few, I mean, quite a bit inventory um, in my garage. So the great thing about it is most of this stuff, I've gotten it so cheap that... Um, it's steady selling so i still have that steady extra money coming in um is my profit as much as it used to be probably not but i'm not mad because i'm still making money i'm still making money still learning the whole tax thing uh, uh to get be be better at, at the uh, uh tax thing um but for the most part it's been it's been it's been okay not horrible it's been okay. Um, when it comes to Disney World and the parks, you can watch all these videos on YouTube. You can watch everyone's opinion on what Bob Chapek and everything going on with the Reedy Creek and all that. Prices are going up. The price of gas is going up. People are having to spend more money, more money, this and that. If you're, in, in my opinion, in my opinion, if you are a true Disney fan and you love the parks, like, you're going to keep going. Like, regardless, you're going you're gonna to figure out ways to go. You have a garage sale like we used to do back in the day. We would have garage sales, get rid of a lot of stuff to get money, uh, to save money up for, for D D Disney World. Um, our annual pass is up for renewal in july so i'm getting my money together to renew that uh but i'm gonna keep going i'm gonna keep going to the parks yeah everything's a little bit more expensive even the merchandise the the t-shirts the, the real nice t-shirts are 36 bucks the the vault collection t-shirts are 36 bucks but with my annual pass discount i still get get a little bit of a, a break on that Food, we don't really eat a whole lot at the parks. Like if you've been to Disney World a bunch of times, then you don't have to do every single thing. I was talking to one of my coworkers. He's getting ready to go in, I think, first week of June. Um, heck, he might be going out down there next week, and I can't remember. They're asking me, like, how much do you spend? How much do you take? This and that. And it just all depends on you and your kids. Me and my kids, I have a 17-year-old and a 13-year-old. Uh, we can go all day just on a few snacks and then have one big meal or vice versa. You know, have a big meal in the morning, then snack, and then by the time we're done at the parks, everything's closed down. So we're going to have to find something to eat um, either at the resort um, if it's still open or snacks in between so we we always do per per pretty good i think on the average on the average if i was to say how much i spend on food when we're there family of four 
I'd probably say about a hundred bucks, give or take. And then I always go buck wild when it goes to buying merchandise because I always end up with two or three brand new t-shirts. So I always kind of set money aside for that. Um, but it's fun. You know, I'm going to keep going um, regardless of what the prices are. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to make, I'm, I'm going to figure out ways to make these trips happen. Um, but overall, I just want to give you guys a uh, current state of what's been going on here at the house. Uh, great state of Texas. I think it's the best state in the U.S. Cars locked. So let me go get the keys. Show you guys real quick uh, all the stuff that I found. Um, one thing I did recently do to cut costs uh, to be able to save a little bit more, more, more money. I, I was paying this guy. 30 bucks every two weeks to cut my grass. I went and bought me a lawnmower. Started cutting my own grass. I mean, heck, you know, that's 60 bucks a month. Um, let's see. But yeah, I mean, saving money, making money, it's, 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 it's busy. Especially like my daughter, she just graduated high school and she's getting ready to go to college. And fortunate for us is that she decided to go to the University of Central Florida, which is in Orlando. So, probably shouldn't have done that, but heck, you know what? I'm not a professional uh youtuber i do this for fun um so i'll show you guys real quick let me find a spot to, to, to put this down um let's see so i found this batman uh detective kit uh retailed 19 dollars and i got it for for 5.99 so not bad um i, I saw some uh sold comps on eBay for uh, I think 15 bucks plus five dollars sh shipping. It doesn't weigh, it, it it doesn't weigh that that much. Um, found this R2D2 for 479. Retails 15.99. Think I'm gonna keep that one. Give it to my my uh, oldest because she's a big fan of Star Wars. Um, Found this little Lego um, friends for uh, two sixty nine. Those typically sell pretty good for us. We've sold quite, 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 quite a few of those. Uh, this Power Ranger two ninety nine retail nine ninety nine. So not bad. It's about set seventy percent off. Um, let's see these uh, Transformers right here. I'll show you guys. Let's see focus camera. Six eighty nine and a retail for uh twenty two sixty nine. I think I saw some sold comps for um fifteen twenty bucks. I, I can't I can't remember. So those should do pretty good. And if they don't, we just we just take them back. Uh, did find this little small Lego set. Uh, Legos always do pretty good. Two ninety nine. So you can't beat that. So um, not a big haul to 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 today to be honest. Uh, but it'll make me, it'll make me some money. Um, but yeah, um, I'm gonna try to upload more videos, make more, more videos, especially when I go to the stores. I feel like I should bring my camera every time I go to the grocery store or Walmart or Target. Cause you just never know what I'm going to find. Um, let's see. Let me grab myself a little energy drink real quick. I'll show you guys something else too. I have been growing my collection of Funko Pops, especially all my Disney ones, because, you know, this is a Disney household. So I will show you guys real quick. So, yeah, I got a little bit of an, of an obsession with uh, Disney Funko Pops. Um, but overall, 
Um, that's going to wrap up this video. Um, just want to give you guys a state of uh, what my reselling and our Disney uh, ventures have been lately. And there's, um, you know, more videos to come. We do plan, I think, going to Disney World this weekend. I will definitely bring my camera and film more. Uh, we are going to try to get a boarding uh, pass uh, for uh, Galax um, Cosmic Rewind. Uh, so I will definitely bring my camera. But appreciate you guys watching. Uh, please share the channel. Uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Hit that like button. You know, kind of help me grow a little bit. So appreciate you guys watching. Till next time. Oh, yeah. Also, too, this is the squish mill I've recently found that's been selling for pretty good uh, profit. I uh, found these in our local grocery store. Been averaging about 32 bucks for them. Uh, so real good profit and also this uh this armadillo so these two have been wheeling us a, a, a lot of good good uh profit uh so keep on keep an eye out on these two uh if you're in texas bye for now thanks